Hello, I'm Carolyn Rosenblatt at AgingInvestor.com, an RN and elder law attorney, taking you to Section 2 of the White Paper, Undue Influence. In Section 1, we learned the definition of undue influence, and you learned that it always involves three things, money or property, pressure or improper use of a relationship, and harm to an elder. A person who is elderly, frail, dependent on others for care, or who is undergoing a lot of stress is especially vulnerable. And the influencer, you know, it could be a family member, could be a professional, could be a caregiver. They're usually in a position of trust or a position of authority over the one being influenced. The person in authority could be a financial advisor, it could be a lawyer, it could be a home care worker, it could be uh, an, an older relative. It could be anybody. So let's talk about some of the classic warning signs of undue influence. Here are five of them. First of all, the victim is vulnerable. This could be like shortly after a spouse has died or because he or she has dementia and can't make good decisions. But a person can be vulnerable just because of being lonely too. A second warning sign of undue influence is the influencer assumes power, authority, or control over the one being influenced. This could come from the relationship where the one being influenced thinks the influencer can be trusted and doesn't question them. Well, that's my son. He would never hurt me. A third warning sign, classic warning sign of undue influence, is isolation of the senior. And the influencer is doing things in secret or in a big hurry or because the influencer tells the victim that everyone is against them. This happens with seniors a lot. One family member will stop the other family members from visiting and they'll build a case against the other family members and tell the elder that everybody else is out to get them. And the vulnerable senior falls for that and they begin to hate the other people or believe that they're really out to hurt them when it isn't true. A fourth classic warning sign of undue influence is sudden change in a long-standing estate plan including a will and or a trust. The so-called natural heirs of a family are cut out, cut out from what they were going to inherit anyway, and instead it goes to someone outside the family or one person in the family who's never been involved as a result of the senior being influenced to make those changes. That's a big red flag. And finally, the fifth warning sign of undue influence is something happens that's just not fair or reasonable for the victim. For example, the influencer seizes control over the elder's assets and they can no longer choose what to do with them. Or the elder's home is sold and he's forced to go to a nursing home against his will. Those are the kinds of things that are not fair or reasonable for the elder. These are examples of an unfair result. Undue influence is legally related to financial abuse. Harm to the elder in some way is the result and it always involves money, property, or an agreement that affects the elder's welfare. Well, I hope you now have a good idea of what undue influence really means. If you see any of the warning signs happening to someone in your life, to a client, family member, or friend, please speak up. Seek legal advice from an elder law attorney or report the harm you see to Adult Protective Services. Name names, give dates, be factual. Working together, we can all do something to stop financial elder abuse. That concludes our second section on undue influence. If you found this useful and would like to learn more about aging clients and how to best create practices that help you deal with them, you'll like our online course, Best Practices for Managing Aging Clients. It's an hour of easy to understand information. And to make it even better for you, the course is approved by the CFP Board for an hour of CE credit. Check out the description of that online course right here. And thank you for listening to the AgingInvestor.com white paper, Undue Influence. Bye-bye now.